Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Shooting the Shift. It's a sad day. Uh, Bryn has had to disappear off to do the very thing we created this podcast for, which was to uh, look after friends and look after each other when times were a bit low. So uh, Bryn, well done for standing up for what we believe in and going and looking after your mate today. Um, Actually, Bam, that's not true. Oh, is it he's not? In a, he's, in a, he's in a cave and a rock. Oh, okay. And the rock's going to cross it. He come, and he's going to come out on the 25th of December. Oh, uh, okay. Is this true? It's Jesus. It's he's Jesus. the baby Jesus. It's the baby Jesus. He's the Jesus of the sure. rednecks. I was going to say, I'm not, that, I'm not sure that's what the timeline actually was. But Close probably. enough. It's all made up anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. uh, also, Milton's thinking about Easter, not Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That, that's... Oh, carry but, on. Anyway, anyway. anyway, really importantly, beer. And an, uh, uh, a violent running thing mug. And Milton with one that, for some reason... Whoa! This here this here mug, Milton, nearly takes a whole bottle of beer. That's science or some shit. I'm just showing off my limited edition one mm. of one mug. One of one mug, which has a slap on it. So let us know in the comments if you want us to make them for real. Because um, it's a fun way to absorb more of our stock uh but yeah so shooting the shift what was it all about why why did we start doing it this is the end of season one boys we're gonna have a break for christmas we're going away for a bit we'll be actually away but yeah but i am going away for christmas okay we're going away from youtube we're not going away well well, matt will be on youtube potentially it just was filmed a few months ago (laughs) It's bright summer skies and Matt's in shorts. Yeah, 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 exactly that. Back, back when the NC worked. Matt's in his best frock. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so we, we started this just over 52 weeks ago. Um, because some of us we, weren't coping that well with lockdown. So, some of us weren't having Christmas parties. Lots of us were. Oh, nobody's having <laughs> Christmas parties now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thanks, Boris. Cheers, Bozza. Um But the truth is, um, we weren't. And we've always maintained talking to everybody throughout this um, that you can always reach out to any of us through any of our socials that we make publicly available if you need a hand. And some people have done that during the time that we've been we've been filming. Um, it's good. And and I think it is good. People people are opening up more, talking about things. Um, so a year in reflection is probably the first point that me and Matt realised that people were actually watching this. Is going to pit stop social and someone recognising us? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys, guys of the internet. Yeah, it was a, it's still a real moment. It's probably the most famous I've ever been in my life. Yeah, in a the, good way. it's the first time I'm not. Somebody's come up to me. Knowing who I am, but me not knowing who they are. Yeah, yeah, because you we do that quite often on in the drift world, especially when we're marshalling or at tracks and stuff. We're like, "Hey, that's James Dean. I'm going to talk to him and be a massive fanboy." Mm. And that guy's like, "He's like, I have no idea." It, either that, or we've spoken to people online, yeah. and then you meet them in real life at a drift date or whatever, and that's different because you know each other. Mm. Yeah. It's, it was one of it was yeah it's it's one of those really surreal moments where they recognise you but you have no idea who they are. That, so that's how because um, I never met Tristan in my life. I'd only ever spoken to him on Discord and playing a set and stuff. And we spent hours talking and stuff. It's and it's, then yeah it's it's like and that's the great thing about this this world that we we move in and and one of the reasons we started shooting the shift as a podcast is we weren't getting to go out and talk to people about cars and stuff. So we just get together here every Friday night, pretty much every Friday night as well for a whole year. Um, I think we fell, I think actually it worked out that we've missed like three weeks ever. Yeah. Um, and week fi- episode 52 still fell a year afterwards somehow. Don't know. Science. Time ah. travel. That's that's I, what I've come up with. Um, I, think, I think the other the, the other thing to point out is, obviously, we the person we're talking about as well. We've we've mentioned him before. Mm. He came and spoke to us at the pit stop social, and then what happened from there is, he came 
to Yakushi with us yep. and spend the weekend camping with us. And since then, I've had everybody over at my house to help me. Um, I put the ramp up. Um, he came and helped me with that. And then we had everybody around uh, a couple of weeks ago with cars and stuff. Like, so it's not just a case of, oh, yeah, you'll have a chat with us and then we'll never speak to you again. Yeah. yeah. We're, and, I've, and through this, I've... Um... I've worked with Tommy, who put on that event at the Iron Workers Centre. Um, cool. We've done the mental that health episode event. with Claire. We've done. We've been at multiple pit stop socials, one of which we filmed at. Um, you know, we've we've been out there talking to people and and doing this stuff. And um, really interesting. Recently, I've put some people in touch with a journalist friend of mine, who's writing an article uh on bpd uh and really wanted to like understand how it affects people's lives um you know and and all these connections we've made whilst we've done this have just kind of restored my faith in humanity a little bit actually that's that's a bit deep but yeah i know it is i know it's a bit deep it's kind of scary i've already opened my second beer of the night boys that explains it. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I think the other thing that's happened is in lieu of meeting people and making friends and making connections and networking yeah. at car shows, we've not been able to do that. So we've we've basically been doing it online mm. via this podcast and, and uh, our other methods and stuff, but we've still been meeting new people. I know we're not like big mainstream and we're not, when we start doing more live streams next year and hopefully we'll build up and eventually we'll get to a point where we can do a live stream we don't even need to do off the cuff videos the, the other the other thing is that we never started this to no. go go this long or try and be famous or anything like that we we did this for ourselves we wanted yeah. to just sit and talk about cars every night because we've done it for so long. and then your idiot and, mate that owns a clothing brand went can we film it and stick it on the internet because <laughs> i've got yeah. no i've got none of my usual content to but, support but, my but, business but, 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 but the other, th- the other, the, the other side of that is we get to sit here and talk about cars all the time, but we get to share that with everybody who decides to watch it as well. Yeah. Who are in the same place we are, uh, sat at home struggling, and there's no car, there's not, nothing going on. Mm. So it's, it wasn't just for our benefit that we put it online. It was the fact that you guys watching get to benefit from it as well. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 that probably succinctly brings us to season one. So there's going to be some stuff coming up over Christmas. After Christmas, probably around the first of January, for reasons. <coughs> but the, yeah, one of the things that I want to put in the video is I'm getting for my birthday. Um, so I'm going to release what's in my camera bag, 2022, uh, and just go through the stuff that we use, like when we go to events, filming that kind of stuff. Because actually, that's quite interesting for people because um, I've had people tell us that our footage looks like it's filmed on much more expensive kit than it is. Uh, and I kind of want people to realise how accessible just documenting the car community is. And the more we document it, the more people see the side of it that isn't boy the good races side. and hooligans. Yeah. Um, as much as I am an absolute hooligan most of the time. Um, I'm a well-behaved reformed hooligan these days, honest. Um, we're, we're just hooligans on track. I'm a 100% certified Mexican, on the other hand. Um, <laughs> um, and and yeah, so we, we want to do more of that. We we will be at Autosport this year, but we won't be filming it. Uh, and part of that is getting a bit of work-life balance back for some of us, because um, one of us may have spent too much time video editing in the last 12 months um i, I think i think the other flip side of that and i, I, I agree with with the reason that we're not yeah. filming is when we go to shows and we're filming what we end up doing is running around filming anything everything yeah and not actually speaking to people and looking at the cars and enjoying the show itself just to be honest, um, yeah and especially somewhere like autosport where you're there to network and meet people yeah. and form partnerships and sponsorships and stuff like that you don't get to do that because you're busy filming and you're it, at that point you are working you're not at shows and, and that's yeah that's the really important thing so we're going to go to water support but we're going to go and network and we're going to try and bring back some guests to join us on the podcast uh from that and really importantly that gets us on to some exciting stuff for season two so 
season two. It's going to start in January. Um, we're going to film. We're going to release every other week for a change. Part of that's to give us time to learn about some of the stuff for the guests we're going to have on. So already confirmed and uh, we're just sorting out dates are the guys from UK Low Riders. So we're going to learn a little bit about proper, proper American low rider builds. That's going to be really cool because that is something that I... I'm alien to. I, I don't I, think any of us know anything about blow riders I, at all. I know bits. The only thing I know about is putting your nan's kitchen nets and then painting over it. That's about it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. For her MX5. There's no, Claire didn't do that. It was a wrap. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. It's not a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> um, and cool. Yeah, so I, I've met the guys a few times and I, I remember the first time I met them going to an event in crew at a barbecue joint, right? And the first thing that drew me in was I was like, why is there a why is there a Honda lowrider here with flake paint? Oh, like, is that the um Civic Sedan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen that. That's Absolutely. that's the only lowrider I've ever seen in the UK. That so I've seen we've I've seen a few um because of the guys Ooh. I met. Man. Yeah. So, so if the sex spec day room with his doesn't work, we can, can we have- we can do a low rider because why not both? And I'm going to throw this out. One of the things I've met because of those people I met at that barbecue joint. One of those things I've seen is a low rider Citroen Picasso. <laughs> Just like yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get them, we're gonna get those guys on. We're gonna talk to them. Uh, we are going to be having, um, as long as everything that has been said so far works out, the new owners of Formula G that Milton competes in. And that's going to be a pretty cool conversation to, to be had. Uh, learn about what's planned, what's going on there. Maybe reveal a thing. Uh, yeah, it'd be good. Um, John, he's picked up the ownership of mm. Becky and Andrew. They did a great job and it was their time to move on. So they've moved the sport on to to John. He's, um, from what we've seen, he's he's already done, he's done, a, lot, he's done a lot of fact-checking, information, finding, review, posts and stuff. But he's really interested to see what the actual drivers want. Yeah. And then we can go from there of how to make the sport grow. So 2020, I was thinking, I'll be honest, I was thinking about maybe just having a year off of competition. But Formula G looks really interesting next year. Some big tracks coming. So It's going, it's to, be a, it's going to be a strong year. Uh, and I'm going to make it my business to go with Milton to film more events for Formula G. So you will get more action than ever before. Um, in the form of Milton skidding around stuff. And we've got the drone, we've got the ground camera, we're going to be all over filming filming those events with some really interesting angles that you don't normally get to see. Um, and, and that's kind of all we know about the guests next year. But two-week schedule lets us research properly. <laughs> no more Googling from Matt mid-episode. <laughs> It's not going to stop. It will happen at some point, I'm sure. We're going to try and stop Matt Googling mid-episode, even if we have to get his lovely fiance Nicole to take confiscate his keyboard for the episode. I, I, I think the other thing about switching to a two-week schedule is the fact that next year there should be a lot more shows and stuff going on, mm. um, which means there's going to be more show content coming through. Um, whereas last year we kind of did this a little bit to fill the void of the fact that there was no shows. Um yeah, so, like... shows will shows will be shows will be a bigger part of what we're doing again. The other thing we're going to do next year is this year the first the first show and in fact the only show we did of as the whole Violent Running Collective and that's the people that are involved in the podcast, in the design work, in everything we do. There's actually about twenty people that sit behind what we do combined, um, and it's people like my fiance Amy. Um, Matt's fiance Nicole, um, who help us do the design work, keep everything moving, keep some of this stuff funded. Um, people like Milton's missus who put up with us kidnapping him whenever we need him to drive for us, uh, and making him give me special hugs when I'm feeling sad and lonely. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't complain. You're on mute, Milts. I mean, I I went an entire year without doing that. 
<laughs> yeah, I just said it's like really cool and special, but people could just people couldn't translate. Lip read. I'm just gonna make it up in subtitles underneath them. Yeah, some subtitles up. <laughs> um, so so yeah, it's been it's been an interesting year this year. We've gone from seventy subscribers to three hundred and forty three. We've gone from about 5,000 views to 17,125 views at this very moment. That's we've gone three, from three times? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, just over. we've gone from about 40 videos to 147 videos. Um, we've been churning out some content this year, boys. It's been a busy year. It has... Considering there's barely been any shows on. We've we've managed to find quite a lot to put out. Yeah, we've done we've done all right. So um, I mean, fifty percent of it was us rambling on for an hour every. Friday. I I have made multiple oh, jokes. Monday when you see it. At the very beginning of the podcast, I made lots of jokes about sending Matt his P forty five. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Matt Matt was old. We made lots of jokes about that. Yeah, yeah, he was old. Bryn Bryn being a leprechaun and a science man. Yeah, we're gonna get Bryn a proper lab coat for next year. Yeah. Get and do some YouTube shorts. Yeah, we will get. Uh, we're gonna get Milton talking to us about how you drive Formula G. We're gonna do a skills by Milts. I don't know. We'll call it. We'll probably get a more creative name than that. Yeah, we'll um, see again. And then the how dream, you... the dream next year, the real, the real dream is for the boyos to get on the road together. And we don't know where that's going to take us, what that adventure is going to be, and which cars we're going to be in. No doubt I will be in the toaster having to be the support vehicle for everybody. Unless the great and mighty land whale uh, is in full working order, and then there'll be lots of noises. Um, winter projects that are coming up. Um, the stage is getting a catalytic converter. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for my loss too, but needs must. Environment and all that. Is the government a little should, should bit I not, Should I not tell you about the decal I've just fitted to my RXA? Um, I, for reasons, and a promise made to somebody. Was it me? It was, it was a promise made to somebody whose name has just been bleeped out. We'll be having a sports cap fitted okay. to this. Yeah. To the to the stage, yeah. Yeah, um, it's, it's, just, it's just his annual thing that, that that every car has to do. No, I, I actually, I actually like. I think a sports cat's probably going to be a good compromise because uh, the exhaust is quite loud for those who've been out well, in it. The speak speaking of it, it's like the 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 MX Five has a cat in the in the exhaust in the manifold, mm. and then it has one in the center, the NC anyway. Um, I replaced the center one because I had a hole in it. I think there's a bit, I don't know. Is the video up for that? I don't think it is. No. Um, it yet. may be coming up at some point soon. Uh, the the, the one I replaced... It's still on here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I put a second-hand stainless aftermarket one. I think it was a sports cat as well. The guy I bought it from said he had a four-to-one manifold, so a decat in the manifold, but it still passes emissions with that cat. So you can free up some airflow and free up some noise there and still pass your emissions. So there's, there's options out there yeah. of still passing emissions. Yeah, and I, I, you know, it it's passed emissions, but I want to err on the side of safety moving forward because actually it does look like the government regs probably going to change in some way that might impact us. It might um, tighten up a bit. Yeah, and and to a certain extent, at some point, I've got to take a little bit of responsibility for the environment. Um. So this is my token gesture to get Greta Thunberg. It's also just for noise, isn't it? And to help a bit of the drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it is. It's, it's it's like the conversation we've had before, where we we've, we've got to be responsible with what we're doing, otherwise people are just gonna hate us. Yeah, yeah, exactly that, and 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 it probably shows that the most Mexican of us is starting to calm down. That it's time for that for the community, really. Um, that said, also, I'm going to get my car remapped. What? It's not been already. No, the insignia. Oh. The date, because I'm getting annoyed with only getting 35 mpg out of it. Because reasons. Yeah, but... I, 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 I did. I was going to do the same thing with the Mazda Six, but kept it because you can have it remapped to the better quality fuel that we have here. 
Um, yeah. So then you get a little bit more power and you get more PG out of it as well. Yeah. yeah. So winter projects are going on. Um, season two is coming up. Christmas is just around the corner. As you can see. Uh, yeah. We, um, the deadline is gone for ordering clothes. Uh, if you see this on Monday, I have just had a delivery of parts for little Yuri's. There are 10 in store right now. And if you order them now, like this very moment in release, I might still be able to get to them by Christmas if you choose the tracked shipping option. Because uh, that's actually special delivery in its next day. Um, <laughs> that's me busy on Tuesday night. <laughs> um, other than that, stickers, everything are going out as normal. Clothes, you, you're you done for Christmas now. They're not getting there in time. Um, oh, an update on that. Mm. Uh, my long sleeve t-shirt arrived as well. Really impressed with the quality of it as well. The print <laughs> is the print is really good. Yeah, and that's part, part of the things we've done this year is we've moved to a new print supplier. Um, and I paid full retail for that, so he did pay full retail for that. And this, it, it's it's worth pointing out for people who don't have a long sleeve shirt. One of the benefits of having a long sleeve shirt when you go on track day is when you have to have your arms covered because you don't have to put a hoodie on. Yeah, that's that is the only reason I bought it. I could have gone with Bryn's car on for that exact reason. <laughs> yeah, we're so we're gonna we're there's a few things coming up next year. Um, crop tops are a thing. Crop hoodies are a thing for the ladies. They're coming. Um, long sleeve t-shirts are coming for when track days start again. What else have we got? Tie-dye, tie-dye t-shirts. I tell you what, I did notice the other day. I don't think I saw on on the socials is the uh, raincoat. Oh, there is a raincoat. Uh, it is on the socials, uh, and it's running. I, I, most of what you're advertising is is on Facebook, and I don't, I don't use Facebook anymore. So, thanks, thanks for the help. You could share our social posts and stuff, you know. But... Oh, you occasionally check in. <laughs> If I see one of your posts, I share it. Um, well, I promise you all, next season I will wind Matt up. Um, and part of part of the reason we need to go every two weeks is so that we don't break Matt <laughs> with that. I mean, you you never stop winding me up anyway. So no. I can't help it. It's a natural state of being, Matt. I'm sorry. It's a worry, sign I, of I, and, I, and I wind you up, Em. So yeah, it's a sign of affection and love that I wind Matt up. Yeah. All right. On, on Wednesday, we're all just going to crash into milk anyway. If you, well, no one's going to keep up with me. Because um, cause they're all going to be in know. front because you're the slowest driver? I'm no. not going to keep up with you because I've got stuck lock for a start. And Ooh. road tires. Speaking of lock, I might be getting even more lock. Bryn's, Bryn's been a machinisty man, man. Okay. It made, <coughs> made me some rack spaces. But, so, so <laughs> essentially, awesome first season... I want to thank these guys for helping put out content nearly every week. I want to um, thank you for editing it every week. I yeah. want to thank you. You are the only person that's ever edited any of these. Sometimes I do that drunk. You mean you've got to be sober to get drunk? I'm sober. What okay. happens is he drinks while we record the podcast on a Friday. Keeps drinking Saturday morning when he gets up to edit the podcast. Something like that, yeah. Um, Either that or you're drunk so much you're still drunk the following morning. There was that There was that episode. I was watching it. Um, actually, someone at work was like, what's this podcast you do? And why, what are you on about whenever you're talking about science to Nicole in the office? Um, so I just showed them the Yakushi episode, and, they were, and at the end of it, when the jar, when Amy passes the jar over to her, they were like, Oh, that's why you're drunk. <laughs> yeah. Because they thought I was just supping lemonade out of my jar the whole episode until they realised it was booze. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so... And, it, and it's been really good. Like, doing those live episodes has been really good. So we're probably going to do a live episode at least once every three months. Um, because they're fun just talking to you guys and having stuff... The backgrounds might change a little bit for how those go out. We might have a new overlay, I guess. Um, we might do more episodes together, being in the awesome. same room, all on Matt's granddad sofa, so that we can prove he's old. I I did sit on the single seat because it's more comfortable. <laughs> 
Um, and what else? I think that's I think that's kind of it. Like the the next the next twelve months will be interesting. Um, bat virus permitting, we'll be out and about more. Um, and until then, he's been Matt. He's been Milton. Toodles. Bye bye from Bren because he's not here. I've been Bam. Have an awesome Christmas. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Uh, and we will see you on the next season of Shooting the Shift. Bye-bye.